What is up you guys? It is another day in my life. So last week I was going to upload a video of me getting my car. I have finally gotten a car. It is a miracle that I got a car. I like so ecstatic. You, you, you don't even know how ecstatic I am. Like Um, sorry. You gotta pay attention when you're driving, guys. Especially with terrible traffic like how I'm stuck in. Never drive in San Antonio around the hours of, uh, noon and five o'clock. Because everybody's getting out of work and everybody's going to lunch at noon. But anyways, I got a car. I'm excited. I am very happy. This is actually my very first big, well, no. You know, I guess it would be considered my very first big boy purchase. Um, I've never had a car before unless you count my 1998 Mitsubishi Eclipse, but that needed a lot of work and I only got it to start once. But other than that, I, um, I'm happy. I got my first car. I've been telling everybody I got my first car. Everyone's like happy for me. I'm so excited. And now everyone's like, okay, so you're gonna give me a ride, right? I'm like, fuck. Like, I totally forgot about all the expenses that come with the car, like gas, I mean, oil, I already knew, but I already know how to do that. I already know how to put the brakes, spark plugs, the cabin filters. I know how to do all that stuff. I know how to basically maintain my car, you know what I mean? So, I am excited for the millionth time. I am probably going to start doing videos while driving, probably with a friend or two, about our stupidity. Stupidity. Like, this weekend I went out and got this little mount for the window that's holding my phone right now. I got a six foot charger thinking that a three foot was not going to be long enough but apparently it was going to be long enough because this six foot one is still kind of looped a little bit. But anyways I just want to let y'all know that I got a car <laughs> for the thousandth time like you don't understand this is my baby his name is Yuki Yes, it's a boy. For those that are wondering, it is a 2015 Chevrolet Eclipse. When I uh, when I decided to get it, I really, at first, I did not want this car. I did, there was another car I had in mind. I wanted a uh, 2010 Mazda 3 Sport. However, for some reason, it's only a $6,000 car at this lot that I went to, and they wanted $2,000 down. And I was like, no, that's a $6,000 car. Why am I gonna put a third of it down? I might as well as purchase the car in three months. So I left that place and I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna go to CarMax. I had already been approved by CarMax online. So I was like, well, might as well as call and see how it goes. Called, uh, I was going for a 2000, another 2010, um, Toyota something. Going for a Toyota something. I can't remember what. And uh, it was like 8000 Granted, I did. I had like a thousand dollar paycheck. But, I mean, I wasn't going to put all a thousand dollars because I still had to get insurance and all that good jazz. So... I told them the best down payment I could do was 300 and I wanted to pay that no more than $300 a month. My maximum would be 350 And so, uh, the guy said I got approved for the car. So, when I got approved for the car, I was pretty excited. Come on, people. I, like, gave you so much space to come in. Um... But then he offered me this car. He was all like, you can get the same deal. It's just gonna it's gonna be a twelve thousand dollar car instead of under a ten thousand like what you wanted. I mean I'm 
I wasn't trying to be really cheap, but at the same time I was. I was just trying not to overestimate myself because if you overestimate, then you're gonna, you're, it's like counting your chicken, your eggs before you, or your chickens before your eggs hatch, that's the saying I think. And so I was like, I just wanna go as low as possible, lowest payment, and so they were able to help me, uh, they were able to help me out and get in 2015 with the same down payment of $300 and it was going to be $300 a month but I needed a warranty because the warranty only lasts for a month in this car after I take it off the lot and so now it is um, I think it's 75,000 miles that I'm covered for which I don't I'm not going to drive that often I'll probably go see uh, I'm probably just going to go to work go home every once in a while maybe go see my mom unfortunately she lives on the south side so that wastes a lot of gas um yeah you're gonna see it bouncing the roads here in san antonio really suck like the highways are terrible but yeah so i haven't had any issues with this car so far a lot of people have told me be careful with carmax because carmax cars aren't that great I'm like what are you talking about like this car it's has no problems. My roommate who knows about cars got his Subaru at Nissan, Hyundai, and Subaru. We saw Hyundais and Subarus. Anyways, they, he got his Subaru at um, CarMax and it runs perfectly fine. It's a sports car, so. Um, yeah. And if, uh, as far as insurance wise, I am using Root. I highly recommend Root so far. Um, if you so, if you don't know how Root works, this is how Root works. Root works by the first two months they kind of judge your driving. They tell you if you're braking bad. They tell you if your turns are too sharp. All that good stuff. Consistency. Well. My first paint month's payment was $170. I'm basically paying around $500 a month for my car and insurance, which I don't think is that bad, especially for a first time, a first time uh, buyer, it being my first car. So, I, I really highly recommend it. I've had, uh, the only reason I got it was because my friends recommended it and from everything that I've seen, everything that I've I've done with it, like I really like it. There's I, I see nothing wrong with this with this insurance. It's a really good insurance. Like I'm glad that it's monitoring my my braking and everything because now that I, if I do a sharp brake, I'm gotta learn. Hey, stop braking so hard. Stop braking at like so, at the last minute. You need to brake on time. So. I highly recommend Roop, and I highly recommend CarMax, and I highly recommend the 2015 Chevrolet Cruze. Hey, you guys sponsoring me? No, they're not. I am not getting paid to advertise for CarMax, Roop, or, or Chevrolet. So, before y'all say anything, just thought I should let y'all know. But anyways, I say that a lot, don't I? But anyways, um, yeah, I am almost home long drive from way on the south side of San Antonio all the way to the north side where Ingram is so I do hope you guys are I hope somebody's watching these videos I don't think anybody probably gets past like the first minute or two but it's cool everybody has a slow start right but anyways I hope you guys have a wonderful day I just wanted to tell you guys how I got a new car how I'm very excited for it and I'm excited to start doing more videos since this is the second Monday of the month I might be doing um, videos once a month or yeah once a month in my car like the second Monday will be a video in my car maybe it'll be with a friend maybe it will be me in my uniform after work who knows but hey it's a start right but anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.